Hello everybody, this is Durgens, and welcome to Tron. I was just browsing free horror games on Steam, and I came across this one. It's It looks pretty, it's got solid reviews, and most importantly, it's supposedly scary. Although I've heard it's more of the psychological horror, hence why my lights are out. I know my face is lit up because of the screen, but I also have a nice little salt lamp over there. Yeah, I don't really know much about this other than to start you hit wake up and that this man is married to this lady. She's got pretty hair. Pretty lady. Um, so I guess wake up. I just realized I don't know any of the controls. Okay. Irma, the moment I saw you, I hoped. The moment you smiled, I knew. I knew what I wanted and I and what I needed to do. Slow steps, hand shaking, sweat pawing, pouring, pouring, sweat pouring, I walked. Under my breath, I asked. Your eyes answered. It was destiny. Aww. As we stand here, I promise you, I cannot give you the moon from the sky. I cannot build you the castle by the sea. I can only give myself to you with my flaws, with my weaknesses. With my love. That's not a sentence. I will never leave your side. I will never let you down. I'm yours and you're mine forever. Oh, all they seem so happy. This is gonna go horribly wrong, isn't it? Offices. I love me a good office. Oh, I'm the only one here, right? No, that's not me, is it? Is that me? I thought he had I thought he had more like blonde hair. How do I move? Okay. Hmg. Hmg. Ah, what? There's someone at the door? Alright, I locked the thing after everyone left. Made me feel a bit safer. Never really liked being left alone. Wonder if I heard right. Don't mind me as I, like, try to find a voice for this person. It's kind of hard to give them a character when they're just this little <laughs> bit model. No, there's someone there. Maybe I should get it. Get that before it breaks. What do you mean, get that? Like, they're gonna break in unless you... Can I look around? Oh god. Um, how do I interact with things? I really should get that door. I have to click and? What? No, 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 no. Oh no, it is him. Hold on, hold on. Can... Is there no controls? Well, I I guess we're just gonna, I'm just gonna slide my keyboard over. I could use a cup of coffee, but there are no filters. Damn it! <laughs> there are no filters! Microwave oven, oven, nothing special about it. I have a nagging suspicion that whoever that is, it's gonna keep knocking until I open the damn thing. My word, you have some words to say. It's a trash can, mostly filled with paper, unfinished ideas, and broken promises! I'm not gonna dig through this, it's trash! Oh god! Place of gossip and intrigue. Drink water? Yes. That hit the spot. I Filled with forms, don't need any of them now. Can I explore desks? This, this is, was... George's desk. He got fired yesterday. Such is life. Nothing special here. The drawers are locked. Does this... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I can click to move. I don't need to... Okay. That's... Edward's desk. Nothing of interest. Looks as dull as the man himself. This is my desk, right? Yeah. Never seen a desk as filthy as this. Not just look. Jim works here. I don't think I've ever spoken to him. I think this is James's desk? Yeah, that's probably what his name was. Skinny guy, lots of dandruff, doesn't talk much. Inspect- Sure! I shouldn't do this, but he's not here. But a quick look doesn't hurt anyone, right? You see nothing of interest on the table, but in the bottom of the you find a weird leather-covered book with some sort of creepy face on it! Nope, not getting that! <laughs> Put the book back! It's probably the appropriate response. Joyce's desk reeks of perfume, which is causing me a headache. There's really just one fe token female character. 
Oh, no, 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 don't open that yet. I want to look at this. Play of the month of May, Christian Lumberhill. That bastard. <laughs> that bastard. What has he done to deserve this? Wait, how long in advance are these things decided? It's still March. <laughs> Peek through the keyhole. Keyhole. Damn, I can't clearly see who it is. I thought I was alone here. If that's an axe murder and I die in this damn building, I'm going to haunt the hell out of it. Alright. Open. Unlock the door and slowly open it, carefully peeking through between the door and the frame. Ah. Oh, it's Chris. Thank God. He's one of the few workers who work here who I actually get along with. But why is he still here? I thought his shift ended hours ago. I wonder what time it is. Jesus, Mike. You're still here? It's almost 9 p.m. Why don't you just go home? It's that late already? Boss demanded that I get this report done today. Damn, I must have fallen asleep. It says damn in every sentence. Look at you. You're like a zombie. It ain't healthy, you know. It ain't, wait, that's, that's not a question. It ain't healthy, you know. <sighs> I know, I know, it's just that I'm drowning with work, and if it isn't done by tomorrow, I'm in real trouble. What, is he slapping him? I hear ya. How are things at home? Everything okay with the missus? Apparently I picked the right accent. What, why do you ask? Has she said anything to you? God, he looks so sleep deprived. Oh, no, it's just the fact you've been practically living here the past week. She wants the D, is what he's saying. We're fine, I suppose. She just wanted to have some time on her own. So she took the kids and went to her mother's. Oh, that's not a good sign. Kids? Yeah, kids. What of it? <laughs> Why is this such a touchy sub subject for both of you? I thought... Never mind. What? Aw, oh, shit, Mike. So his curse word is shit. Mike's is damn. Sorry I brought it up. I didn't know. Oh, uh, no, no, it's okay. We're gonna work through this. Through. Work this through. I know it. Oh, you sweet, naive summer flower. Every marriage has its rocky patches, right? 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 I wouldn't know. I've never been hitched. I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. I really do hope so. Never would have guessed, though. She seemed happy, so happy last week. What? You saw her last week? Why? Where? <laughs> Fist fight! <laughs> Well, yeah, she was here. Came out of the boss's room. But... Had some package with... <laughs> boss's room. Package! <laughs> I didn't think any of it. I thought she was here to visit you. I know the two of you used to... Bang in the bathroom. Don't deny it. I heard the noises. I don't see how this is a choice. You either would or you wouldn't. Ahem. <coughs> Yeah, I'd ignore it. Sorry, but I thought you knew. No, I didn't. Why would she be here? You're asking me? How should I know? It's probably nothing, Mike. Don't worry about it. Me and my not perfect- Wow, man. Can't even put a tie on right. Any case, I'm gonna head home now. I can barely keep my eyes open. You should too. Remember to lock the door when you leave. I'll probably forget. I always lock the door. I... Right. See you tomorrow, Mike. My wife was here, but why was she here? She didn't tell me anything. It's probably nothing, though. I shouldn't get all riled up. She's totally cheating on you. You pause for a moment and take a deep breath. You can feel your anxiety level riot rising, and you clench your fist. That's more anger. Oh. Oh, oh that's... <laughs> I didn't expect the music to just change like that. Why the hell was she here? Was she bad-mouthing me? I'm sure she was. That's all she does nowadays. I'm um, slipping into the other guy's voice. Should I call and ask her? I need to get home. You check your pockets to find your keys. Fail to find your keys. Where are my keys? Did I leave them somewhere? Ah! <laughs> they probably lie at my desk somewhere. Who speaks that way? Alright, this game may have been free, so... Come on. Get your, they're right there. 
really keep this more organized. Hardly spot that isn't covered with paper or coffee stains. My phone, boring binders, anything you might find. Search desk. Don't find your keys. Picture your wife. Reminder of happier times. Looked so happy back then. Felt like nothing could keep us apart. Aww. Smile your best by yourself and squeeze the frame harder. You're about to go murder her for cheating. What? Oh! Five years. Wow. Oh, I don't know how to make a female voice without it sounding really insulting. I can't believe you dragged me with you. You know I don't really care for the outdoors. Come on, love. Look at this place. Isn't it beautiful? Straight from a postcard. This is... Okay, this place has seen better days. Your wife looks at you and rolls her eyes. You think? I do have a reason why we're here, though. There's something at all. Oh, there's something I need to tell you. You may want to sit down. Worried. That's not a good reaction. Your wife looks at you with a worried look in your her eyes. In your eyes. What? What is it? There's no easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. I fucked your sister. You place your hand on your wife's cheek. She looks like she's ready to faint. Oh my god. I got the job! You smile at your wife, waiting for a reaction. At first- Oh, they're already married! At first she looks confused, but after a sigh of relief, she smiles, jumps at you, and hugs you. Jesus, Mike, you scared the crap out of me, you ass! She laughs. You got the job? You can't joke about this, Mike. Did you really get it? Uh, I don't like my voice for her. You smile at your wife. That's really great, but how do we... I mean, the office isn't near here. Are we going to move? And that brings, me to, brings us to my next point. What is this, PowerPoint presentation? Your wife looks at you with great anticipation. My foot itches. Ah, there we go. I asked around, and there is one bank that is ready to grant the loan. We can get that house we've been looking at. We can get our own home. Is she crying? We can move real soon. Do you want to? You're even asking? Of course I do! You didn't need to consult me at all! I'm totally on board! Then I'll make the call when we get back. You smile at your wife. She looks around. I'm really happy that we can move. This isn't the area where we can raise kids. It's not safe for them. What are you talking about? There's a fucking tire in the water. That'd be awesome. Oh, there's a... There's a hobo over there. That might be less good. I know. Now we can finally start our family. The white picket fence dream. Dot, dot, dot. What is it? I love you, Irma. Let's never break up. Let's be together forever. Promise? <laughs> I love you too, Mike. <laughs> why did that turn into an old lady? <laughs> I don't know why that turned old lady. Oh, you didn't promise. Mike looks sad. Mike will remember that. <laughs> Your wife smiles and looks at you. I promise. Nothing. I promise. Not to eat your fruit salad. That's what she promised. Okay, let's get back to looking for- no, look for your damn keys. Brown envelope. Oh look, this is my what? what? Some time ago when I was really, really fed up with all of this. I never delivered this though since I was the only one working back then and we needed the money. Now things are different, right? The house is pretty much paid. I have no loans, and my wife my wife is supporting herself at the moment. Do I really need this job? I could just go and show a big middle finger to the boss and leave this shitty place. I never liked this job anyway. All I'd need to do is leave this letter on the boss's table and be done with it. Well, then you can't flip him off. Take the letter? Oh, fuck! Yeah. Yeah, I'll take the letter. I'll hold on to it. Right, the phone is out of battery. These goddamn smartphones won't last a day. Not if you've been on it all day. 
Pick it up and put it in your pocket. You also notice your lunchbox is in the drawer. What? Well, why is this here? This should be in the fridge and break room. My keys are not here. What they could be? Better check the other rooms. They're probably in the break room. That's the boss. Off spending machine for two dollars. You can increase your chance for a heart attack. Fun. Oh, the plan would be the only sign of life here if it weren't fake. Now it just sits there, lifelessly like the rest of us in this godforsaken room. You clearly hate this job. What is this? Picture of, um... Uh, this is Hulda Wahlberg, the famous adult actress. You don't normally specify adult actress unless they're, um, doing some things. Why did... Why did he have her picture framed? Obsessed much? So I'm assuming I could leave the letter here. A note with some numbers on it. The new key is 2573. Please don't lose this. 2573. 2573. Oh, I get to keep it. Come across your boss's desk. This room is all its belongings make you uncomfortable. Suddenly something starts to hammer at the back of your head? What? Oh, flashback again? You wanted to see me, sir? Ah, uh, why do they all have like the same facial structure? <sighs> Let me get straight to it. What the hell is this, Smalling? How can you fuck this up? This isn't rocket science. Okay, his words fuck. The boss slams his fist against the desk so hard that his cigar is- <laughs> He's such a stereotype! The cigar falls on the floor. That's not a cigar. I'm sorry, sir. I'll do better next time. Smalling, I've seen you so many mistakes from you that I don't know if there will be a next time. I should kick your sorry ass out of this building right now. I'll fix this, sir. Please, give me one more time. You better. This is your last chance, Smullen. Do not leave your desk until this is done properly. Do you understand? Say it. I understand, sir. What? I can't hear you. <laughs> the boss yells at you so hard you notice pieces of spit flying everywhere. Repeat yourself? No, fuck him. You stay quiet and notice the boss's face turning red. You stubborn piece of... Get out of here! Crawl back to your desk! Oh god, I'm definitely resigning. One chance, Smalling. One fucking chance. Don't fuck it up. I won't, sir. Thank you, sir. Jesus, all the memories. All these memories. Can I resign? Yes! Big stone rolls off your heart. You even smile a little. Good! There, goodbye, shitty job. Welcome to- Welcome, new life for me and my wife. Alright, well. Another leather, leather couch. I don't even want to think about what's happened on that thing. Ah! Oh, oh no, because it might be his wife. Oh, I can go over here, can I? There we go. Alright, where's the break room? What, what is this? Just, oh, it's a carpet. I bet it's in the fridge! Notice a note left out the fridge door. Someone left their keys in the fridge. They're now in the reception. There's a word idiot scribble below. How nice. Well, the reception is downstairs in the lobby. I should head there. Cool. Boop, boop. Why, why is it darkness? Hey, an old issue of Tizit, a vintage Finnish gentleman's magazine. Why is it so sticky? Ah, of course the door's locked. Just my luck. There's a keypad, though. I wonder if that note I... Seven. No, five, three. No. How do I get in my items? Two, five, seven, three. Okay, I was pretty close. Two, five, seven, three. There we go. How do I... There's a box of this. A pair of glass, a couple memory sticks. What the fuck is a memory stick? 
I got you in a pink delta, the usual office equipment, and you find your keys. Cool. Get out of the place. For good. Don't have to deal with that asshole again. Wow, so much is happening. Oh no, wait. I've got the keys. Well now- Oh, do I just leave now? Is that what this is? Leave offices, yes. Did I not- Ooh! I should mention the sound, like the music, is really pretty. Whoa! You slowly regain consciousness and feel that your entire head is covered in bandages blocking your eyes. Feeling around with your hands, you realize that you're lying in a bed somewhere. Hearing the constant beeping sound is getting very annoying. Yeah, that's your top priority here. What? What happened? Where am I? You feel around and notice there's something stuck in your arm. It feels like an IV line. Ooh, I hate needles. What about the line? Fuck no! Maybe I'll just lie for a second. How did I get here? I remember leaving work, going to my car, and nothing. What happened? Maybe I should just rip out the line after all. D then why did I have a choice? It's like picking a color. You rip out whatever was stuck in your arm. It's stung, but it doesn't take long for you to feel much better. You start to unravel the bandages over your head. That's a cool effect. Alright, oh, bright light. Your eyes take a moment to adjust to the bright lights. I should... I should get up. Probably not, no. Now that you fell, you black out for a moment as you fall down from the bed. The floor feels very cold and you stumble back onto your feet. Up on your feet. You notice something on your finger. It's attached to the monitor nearby. The hell is this? Some kind of clothespin? Oh, it's an oxygen... That's fine. Yes, take off the clothespin. You <laughs> take off the object and soon notice it was measuring your heart rate. How wonderful. Now <laughs> this sound got even more annoying. I need to find a way to shut that thing down. Well, th oh, thank God it stopped. Any more of that sound and I would have gone crazy. Am I in a hospital? How did I get here? How did you not figure that out yet? I need to get home. Where's all my stuff? I need my clothes, my keys, and my phone before I go anywhere. That locker looks like a place stored clothes. I should check there. Collect your stuff and find a way out. Cool, I can do that. Better put my clothes on. My keys. Okay. Hell, why is my phone in the trash bin? Who put it there? Still out of battery. I don't have a call. Charger here, so no calling with this one. Cool. Now I run, right? Whoa. Oh, it's you. Jesus, Mike, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Whoa. Chris, what? What are you doing here? What am I doing here? The real question is why you're still here and not in the party. It's mandatory to participate, you know. What? Come on, Mike, we're in a hurry. What, what party? What party? You're seriously gonna wear that? What the fuck is going on? No, you're not going to wear that. I, your fashion-forward friend who can't even tie a tie all the way, will change you. Wear what, Chris? What the hell are you talking about? That outfit. That outfit. We're late and you're looking like something that crawled out of a trash can. Okay, here's what we do. You go get that tuxedo from the dresser. Slip into that one, then we're off. With any luck, we might make it in time, but only if I drive. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> Actually, though, what's going on? Mike, just do it, goddammit! Get in that tuxedo, get dressed, and get out of this damn room. We have to go now! Are you locking me in here until I do? This wasn't here before. This wasn't fucking here before! I'll wait outside while you get changed, but hurry up, everyone's waiting for us. Yes, I'll put on the tuxedo. Because it's... Now I can feel more like James Bond. Can I climb out the window? Dark alley, these are the kind of places where people get killed, wouldn't want to be down there. But also, I don't... What? What the fuck? 
You look at your clothes. Wait, didn't I? This is getting way too creepy. I'm certain I changed these clothes. Chris, I need to talk to Chris. He's waiting for me outside, right? Is the tux in there? Nope, there's nothing there. What happens if I look outside? Same dark alley? Yep, same dark alley. Oh, this is fucking creepy. Chris? My dude? Where is everyone? Actually, yeah, that's a better question. Chris, where are you? But... No, his phone wasn't on before. You look at your phone, it doesn't show who's calling, only a black screen. Maybe it's Chris? Answer the phone? Yeah. Hello? What? That's okay, I didn't want to sleep tonight. Your phone suddenly shuts down. What. The. Fuck. That's the appropriate response. You throw the phone away, I don't blame you. Okay, I guess I just move now. Okay, baby crying. Hello, is someone there? I went all silent. No, it kept crying. It's aggressively locked. Also aggressively locked. Nothing up here. That was my room. What if I go down here? Ooh. Was that his wife? Chris? Or maybe it was Chris. Oh shit, I didn't read that. I'm sorry. Oh, this hallway is long. Oh, god damn it, that- Because I'm holding down when I move, so it just skips over the text. Okay, lights are breaking. Okay, this was a bad idea. Run, Mike, just run. Running the other way. Running, 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 running. Ah, where did these obstacles come from? Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. This is not where I was before. I know this place. What? Oh. Mike, stop pacing around. He's late. I hate waiting. It's been almost an hour. I'm sure he'll be here any minute. Sit down, relax, read a magazine or something. Flailing around like a madman doesn't help anything. I disagree. <sighs> Why are we here? You know why. Oh, that should have been more resigned. I'm telling you, there's something, there's nothing wrong. This is useless. Mike, you agreed. At least now we'll have an answer. I know I agreed, but I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong with me. I can feel it. We just have to try harder. Oh, they're trying to get pregnant. And it's not going too good. We've been trying for so long and nothing. I mean, I... I want... No, I need answers. Something, Mike. I need something. Fine. But when he comes out and tells the results, you'll see there's nothing but grade A Navy SEALs coming out of me. <laughs> it's such a guy thing to think. You look at your wife and give her a wink. She smiles at you. You know, while we wait, we could go in. Mr. Smiling? Yes, I am. Hello, I'm Dr. Jones. I'm terribly sorry I kept you waiting. It's fine. It's not fine. Please follow me. Fun fact, sperm count in men has been going down, at least in America. I don't know if this game knew that or not, but... Mike, may I come with? Of course. Why would she- why would he say no? Of course, I want you to hear this. Oh, please have a seat. <clears throat> I don't know what that was. I'd rather stand. It's more manly. <laughs> okay, 
As you know, having a child takes, is a difficult process. For healthy couples, it may take years and years. Just cut to the chase, Doctor. The results are in, no? Yes. Well then, let's hear it. Mr. Smalling, there's no really, there's really no easy way to tell this. You're a very healthy man, but... But? Oh god, that face. You glance at your wife. She's pale as a sheet. I'm very small. Sorry, Mr. Smalling. The tests show that your sperm is very weak, and it's practically impossible for you to father a child. What? <laughs> sorry. Funny thought. Not important. I'm sorry. No, that's impossible, Doc. There's no way my soldiers ain't up for the fight. No fucking way. Oh, he's pissed. There's no need for profanity, Mr. Smalling. Fuck that, Doc. <laughs> no need for it. Fuck. <laughs> Do the test again. Something must have gone wrong. There's no goddamn way it's correct. The tests have a 99% reliability, Mr. Smalling. They are correct. But it's not the end of the world. There are multiple ways for couples like you to have your own child. Insemination is a thing. No, I refuse to believe this. Your tests are a damn hoax. Come on, honey. We're leaving. We're going to another doctor. Someone who can actually do his job. Dude, take a chill pill. Calm the calamity that is your memories. Your wife stands up. You notice her eyes getting teary and she starts to sob. Mike, I... She wipes her eyes. I need a moment, please. Alone. Please, Mike. I'm very sorry, Mr. Smalling. There are so many other ways to have children. God. I wasn't ready for more horror. What? No, this is... This can't be. This isn't the... This ain't the right room. It ain't. So let's leave. What? <laughs> used condom. Where am I? The hell? Wasn't there a... I must have hit my head harder than I thought. It's quiet now. It's locked. It's angry locked. You can hear some faint music from behind this door. It sounds odd. Leave? No? I'm sure I've heard that somewhere before. Oh well, I've got to get going. Oh well! Morg. Morg, I guess I don't have a choice. You did have a choice! Why did you go in? Doris, angry lock- Oh! Oh shit! Well fuck, I can't see anything in here. I probably should preface this with, I am terrible at horror games. I jump at the slightest sounds, the slightest changes. Um, I still remember when Slenderman first came out, I couldn't play it because I was so scared. That was a long, long time ago. But I'm still a bit jumpy. Hey, hey you! Hey, hey you, you! <laughs> You might need this. Who's there? Hello? Something hits your foot. <laughs> what the? You pick up the object. A flashlight? Oh, fuck. What is that, blood? Chris, I swear to God, I'll kill you tomorrow. This isn't funny, Chris. Stop messing around. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be going this way. Bags of cement? What on earth? Oh, only darkness. Even my flashlight can't light it up. That's seriously weird. But bags of cement? What is this? Casca of Amontillado? Oh, that's a- Oh! Oh no! No, no! No! Go away! Go away! No! Move! 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 Run! Mike! Man! Come on! Go! Back! Ah! Oh, I see you. Ah! No! Go back up the stairs! That was not okay! 
don't... The heck, it's completely blocked. Wait, there's something written here with red, red paint. Yeah, I'm sure it's red paint. Don't dead, open inside. What? That makes absolutely no sense. Chris, this is going too far. Let's get the hell out of here already. Uh, I don't want to go back to the demon man. Bodies. Oh, great. Oh, God. No one's here. Can I... Cage J. COD lost his nuts. Greyfield J. COD. Asphyxiation by paper bag. Snow J. COD. No, nothing. Wait. Their last names are all... Or their first names are all J. Dawson J. COD. Hypothermia. Hunter C. Sacrifice. Drake N. Fell off a cliff. That's a weird name. Pile of papers. That was important, apparently. Ooh, computer. I didn't see that before. <laughs> There's a blue screen. Is it the blue screen of death? Wallace. Disembowelment. Shepherd! Not Shepherd! Ooh, it's a reference! <laughs> I wonder if the others are references too. That's a Mass Effect reference. That can kill you. <laughs> I guess when the Reapers are done with you. Price field. Falling debris caused by a tornado. Debris caused by a tornado. It's empty. Smalling. What? I don't think any of my relatives live near here. One here. Natural selection, beheaded, gunshot wound, poisonous, no real poisonous mushrooms. <laughs> Alright, I'm willing to bet the rest of these are references too, that they're just not references I'm catching. Lynch B, no. Oh, snow, knew nothing. I don't know why that one escaped me. Hunter see self-sacrifice. I don't know that one. Hypothermia, no. Fell off a cliff, drink. Nope. That's a weird name. Alright. It's a blue screen. Still the blue screen of death. Then where am I supposed? Oh, no! Did it say follow me? Wait, what? This hallway wasn't like this before. Computer? A workstation? What? The computer is on and isn't responding to any commands. All the stuff is glued to the desk. There's something really wrong with this. I don't think that I should be here right now. No fucking shit! Oh, it wants me to be here? Canister of... There's no label on it. Okay, but it's not... Trusty's locker, there's nothing inside. It's locked. Yeah, go. Boxes, personal belongings. Maybe I shouldn't touch these. Oh, those are footprints. Wait, you just looped me around. What's going on here? Wasn't there a... The hell? Never in my life did I want or need to hear that. There's only a wall here. Okay. <laughs> Don't you fucking die on me now! I have to get out of here. Yeah, but there's no way out! Is there? Where does this lead? Oh, I don't like that ominous sound building up. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, don't you do this to me. Don't you be that kind of game. Oh, you're gonna be that kind of game. Oh, the music's speeding up. The red handprints are really unnerving. 
Yeah, that's what's unnerving about this place, nothing else. Okay, okay, I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. It's just kind of an endless maze now. Oh, uh, what if I go back the way I came? Can I do that? Okay, it takes me back the way I came. At least that part makes sense. Red liquid, don't want to know what it is. Or footprints. Am I supposed to follow the footprints? Oh! No! No! Chris, is that you? Follow me. What the hell? I guess I don't have much of a choice. Who the hell are you? I am the shadow. The shadow? The shadow. Where are you taking me? Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh! Oh, there's nothing I can do. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm starting to like Mike. What's this? Locked. That's just a barrier. Okay. Handprint. Where's some more footprints? There they are. Oh! These footprints, please don't let them be footprints. There's a key! Huh, a key? I found the key. I'm leaving now. Ah, yep, 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 go up. There, there's the exit. Yep, a way out, finally. Oh. Oh. Why did I lose my flashlight? Or is that. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, is this just a loading screen? No, okay. My head, goddammit, it's really killing me. I can't remember when the last when the, was the last time it hurt so bad. What the hell happened? I left work and then woke up in a hospital. How did I even get there? Chris was there rambling about some party. What party? What the hell was he talking about? Then the lights went out and there was something, someone, in the darkness? Was it Chris? It didn't sound like him. I don't know anymore. Maybe it was just a funny prank. Ha ha. Let's pick on Mike, woo woo. Let's make his life even more miserable. Bunch of bastards, every one of them. I need to get home, find a mirror, see if my skull is still there, grab some painkillers, and sleep this, this fucking day away. I miss her. Oh. Front yard home. Okay. Oh, wait, what, I'm here already? How? Is he in a coma? I have no recollection of how I got here. I feel dizzy. Ugh. I should check my injuries in front of a mirror. Oh, picture. Very expensive painting made by a local artist called Butterfly Child. She'll go far. With that name though? Stupid magazines. Bedroom. I need a mirror. There's a mirror. Irma's vanity. Never really understood the things. These things and what their purpose is. You could just grab a chair and use the bathroom mirror. <laughs> but you need a mirror. What's wrong with that one? Alright, well, where's the bathroom? Well, this is the backyard. <laughs> ah! Oh god, this went from scary to what the fuck is going on very quickly. Is it like connected to the bedroom? Oh, this is the bathroom. Okay. It's not a single scratch on me. That's good, I guess. But why was my head wrapped in bandages? That makes no sense at all. Wow, I look like shit. My eyes are red, hair's a mess, and I think some of them are gray. Great. My head's still pounding like a jackhammer. I need to grab some painkillers. I think there's some in the kitchen. Get some painkillers! <laughs> Next objective! Good thing I know where the kitchen is! Alright. Shelf is filled with all kinds of things, among them painkillers. Only two left! May as well take them now so I can sleep. I could 
really use a shower. I thought you were gonna go to bed. Take a shower. Okay. Do I have to like get the towel and everything or can I just put you in the shower? Take a shower, yes. Mmm. Sexy. What a day. Thank god I left the letter on the boss's desk. Now it's only two weeks and I'm out of that hellhole. Knowing me, I'll make those two weeks last a lifetime. Just say you got the flu. Mmm. Mmm. Shirtless, Mike. The suit is ruined. Gotta get rid of it. What's this? Cell phone. It's my phone? How the hell? I threw this away, right? I don't remember picking it back up. And that call. Was that call real? It couldn't be. No way. I must have been drugs that gave me. They gave me back in that room. Damn, I should call my wife about what happened. There's no power in this thing and it's too late to call anyway. I'll just charge this up and do it tomorrow. Should find a charger on Irma's desk somewhere. Give me the charger! Who are you? Till tomorrow. Pass out if I don't go to bed soon. What, like a sim? Will you just die on the floor? How long has this been here? I didn't put that there. Go to sleep. Go the fuck to sleep. Ooh, flashback. Some time ago. So, want to talk about it? We're gonna need to. I know. Please, love. It's just not fair, I guess. It's not fair after all this. It's not fair to us. I waited for so long and I was ready. I was prepared for everything. I even read some books. Sorry, I'm not a method actor. I'm doing my best here. I'm so sorry, Irma. I'm so sorry. Maybe. Maybe we can do some research on adoption. Maybe we... No, Mike! I don't want someone else's child, bitch. I want it to be mine. Ours. Maybe it's not meant to be. Maybe it's some higher force saving us from something. Irma. I just need some time to process all this, Mike. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure you'll be fine too. We're together. Only that matters, right? Right? I really do love you so much. I know. Mmm. Whoa! I was caught up on the fact she didn't say I love you back and then... Okay. Just, just don't go looking for it somewhere else, okay? What? Nothing. I was just joking. Dude! That was so clearly not a joke! No, seriously! What did you mean by that? Forget it. Mike! I was just trying to make a joke about you getting the stuff from somewhere else. It was a poor joke. I can't believe you! Why would you even say that? <coughs> I'm sorry, Irma. I wasn't... Is that what you think of me? Is it? Do you have any idea how much that hurts? I'm killing my voice with her voice. Irma. Don't bother, Mike. Dude. You fucked up so bad. Also, there's food on the grill. Is he gonna wake up? Who sleeps in dress pants? No, get up! Wait, he never set an alarm, did he? <laughs> Boom! <laughs> really hate that thing. What happened last night? It all seemed unreal, like a dream. I need coffee. You're gonna check your phone before you do anything else. Armist desk, her stuff's still here, she'll come back. It still kind of smells of her. I miss her. Okay, but phone! Phone! You... Computer. Ah, uh, fine. Get the damn coffee. No, nope, that's a toaster. Ah, that's the morning newspaper. Just in time. Get. The, is that coffee's not done yet? Oh, okay. I see. Who still reads the newspaper? This. Whoa. Oh, I just looked at the the picture of them again. He has red spots on his face now. 
This can't be right. It's blank. Every page is blank. Huh. Did they run out of ink? I need to make a complaint about this. What are you, 75? The phone. I need to make the... Ah, I just hit my elbow. I need to make that call. Very expensive painting. You don't see that? Okay. Apparently it's insane. No, not the computer. Come on, still no power? This isn't even funny anymore. I should get that coffee. Huh? What was that? Came from the backyard. Oh, what's that on the table? Bottle of wine? Hey, this is the same brand that... Now the flashback! A few months ago. Oh, he's drunk. Which of the wilds? Change is coming to the world. Uh-oh, it's Chris. Really, Mike? You're seriously here? Getting drunk at your own party? Party? Isn't that the, isn't that the whole point of these things? I think so. <laughs> That's why I throw parties. Fair enough. Give me some of that wine. Oh, it's wine? Ah, oh, you guys are weak. So what you moping here for? Everyone's inside waiting for the hero, the man of the hour. You scored this firm such a big contract that the boss might actually be inclined to give us all a bonus this year. That was a long sentence. God knows that that'd be the first. And who knows, maybe you'll be the f on the fast track to promotionville. Hey, just running that rat race. Come on, Mike, what's wrong? I'm not in the mood to party, that's all. What you're drinking? Not in the mood! It's free buffet, free alcohol, and free whatever you want, and you're not in the mood? What does that imply? That's just sad. Fuck you, Chris. Oh, take it easy. Didn't mean to offend. I know, it's just everything's gone to shit. <clears throat> Jesus, Mike, ease up on that wine. Any more of that and we might get... She'll leave me. Oh. Oh, we've gotten to that point of drunk. <laughs> this depressingly honest. Huh? Jesus, man. Irma, she'll leave me because I'm not good enough. I'll never be good enough. I can't give her what she wants, and it won't be long before she'll take it from someone else. Insemination! Oh. Um. She'll pack her bags, leave a note on the fridge door, and have her way with some blonde-haired god from Norway <laughs> named Olaf. It's so specific. Maybe you should just give that bottle to me, Mike. Olaf will give her the baby she so wants. She'll forget I ever existed. The hell are you talking about? No, I'm not going to allow that. I won't back down without a fight. What, are you going to beat up Olaf? Um, what fight? Have you seen her, Chris? Where is she? Whoa, man. Whoa. I'm not sure I like where this is going. Who? Irma, my goddamn wife. Where is she? She's inside, talking to some guy. Why did you say that? Chris! Some guy? That's it. Chris! Mike! Mike, where are you going? Mike! Mike! You dumbass. That's how I talk. I, like a nice five-foot gap. There you are. Are you making- are you making moves, huh? Mike? What? What if- have you been drinking? This- is this the one? This guy's better than me? Um... Cut the fucking crap. You're already done with me. Already scouting for the next one. Jesus, his face. I've been down here because I've been reading, but oh my god, he's really drunk. And you, who the fuck do you think you are taking my woman? Is he gay? Oh shit. Oh, he's getting his ass kicked. Smiling! What the fuck are you doing? We throw a party for you, and this is what you do with it? I'm sorry, sir. He's been drinking too much. He didn't mean it. I'll take care of him. Sir? Ma- ma'am? Is he referring to his wife, or is that a man? Smalling, I expect you to see- I expect to see you <laughs> at my office first thing Monday morning. Oh, she did not like that. 
Irma will remember this. Yeah, that didn't go well. Okay, time to get going. Big deal. My car is still at work, so I have to take the bus. But first, I need to get changed. I don't want to go back to work. <clears throat> That's the bathroom. Da da da. Shirt. To work! That I quit. Only two more weeks of this. Two more. You can do it, Mike. Oh, I thought someone was banging on the door. Like, it sounds like someone's got their fingerprints, fingertips, banging on the desk. What the heck? Is there someone, something blocking the door? Maybe I'll go through the back. Oh, that was a knock. Excuse me. Hello, neighbor! <laughs> the fuck? Hello, neighbor! Ha! <sighs> oh, this is so uncomfortable. Oh, it's those screaming sounds. Ah, uh, it's getting closer. That was kind of a predictable jump scare. But also, was that like a dead Irma? The hell? What the fuck was that? It's convenient that that's normally how I talk too. Neighbor's gone. Goodbye, neighbor! I need to get the hell out of here. Can I go through the front door? No? Okay. Oh, it's Silent Hill! This is great! This isn't my backyard. This can't be real. There's a monkey! Okay, that's it. I'm officially insane. The axe. There's an axe in the shed. I'm gonna bust through the front door. Where's the shed? Oh, is that the shed? Here we go. Through the front door! Let's go! Can I interact with the monkey? It's actually a cute little fella. Wait, wait, wait! That was a phone! No, wait! No! No! Fuck! I could've used the phone! I doubt it would've done anything, but what if it did? Alright, Dora, get ready to meet your maker! No, the axe just shattered. This isn't real. I'm dreaming all this. I have to be dreaming! Wake up, Mike! Wake up! Mail's here! The mirror will show you the way. The mirror. This is clearly a dream. Just a dream. Right? Some mirror in the bathroom. Might as well check it out. Can he acknowledge it? No, he can't. He can't acknowledge that his face is deteriorating. That's not the bathroom. Oh, you look in the mirror. Can't see anything. Take a deep sigh of relief. And then... Ha! Oh! Hey, you. Yes, you. Come here. Did you know you're losing your mind? I'm, I am talking to a mirror, so that's defin decent enough cue. No, really. What the hell is this? What? You've never talked to yourself before. That's what this is, after all. Nope, not doing this. Not at all. <laughs> Just nope, nope, nope. Don't be stupid, Mike. Come back. No. Where would you even go? You can't get out of this house. Come back. Let me help you. Come on, Mike. Be a good sport. Let's get through this together. I know I can help you. I can't believe I'm doing this. Okay, let's hear it then. What the hell's going on? Am I dreaming this? And how do I get out of here? One thing at a time, Mike. Let's not get hasty. Nothing, really. I expected more out of you. But fine. No, you're clearly not dreaming. If you were, you'd be able to wake up, right? You're asking me? I thought you had the answers. God, I'm arguing with a mirror. 
It's always a good time for self-studying, Mike. Nothing wrong with that. Right. But as you already know, you cannot get out. Doors won't open. Windows are unbreakable in the backyard. Well, let's not talk about the backyard. But there is a way out. We can do this if we work together. Cooperation is key, after all. Okay, let's hear it. Like I have anything to lose. Do you remember what she did to us? No? What? Her. Don't you remember? Think about it, Mike. Remember. What are you s- Oh, hi, honey. You're home already? How was work? It was okay. How was yours? Had to work overtime, it seems. Overtime? Oh, it's that late already! I didn't even notice! You were fucking some dude, weren't you? Irma! Come clean! So what took you so long? Went somewhere? No, why? Oh, nothing. I just wondered why it took you several hours to come home. You didn't even call. Oh, he's thinking it too. I didn't know I had some sort of schedule to follow. I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything. I was just worried something might have happened. That's sweet of you to worry. Fucking your boss. You notice a takeaway coffee cup in your wife's hand. What's that? Thought you said you didn't go anywhere. My god, there's so much mistrust in this relationship. Let's just talk to each other. What? I had a cup of coffee, okay? What's with you today? Did you go there by yourself? I'm not even going to answer that. Your wife receives a text message, which she reads and smiles. Who's that from? Just from someone at work. Why? No reason. You just seem happy about it. You know, I'm just going to get a shower, okay? I'm just going to go purchase a shower. The hell? Why does she? What does she have to do with this? What have you done with my wife? To my wife. Me? I'm just a mirror, Mike. I haven't done anything. But has she? Go now, Mike. Trust your gut. What? In the kitchen, Mike. Go to the kitchen. It will hold answers. The kitchen. Oh, and Mike. Tread carefully. You're not alone in this house. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, God! Yeah, this is... I don't... Looks like my desk. It is my desk. They're all his desks. They're all eight. How the fuck do I... What happens if I go back? Okay! Oh! The hell is happening? Smalling. On Mike, find what you see. I don't know where to go. Okay. Oh, what? Uh, why? No, click on the flowers. Wait a minute. I, I remember these flowers. Honey, I'm home. Easy day at work, so they let me leave early. Honey, honey, are you here? She's not home? She should be by now. Huh? What's that? Flowers? The hell? Okay, is filled with red with roses and looks very expensive. You notice a card on the table. You pick it up. Thank you for being there for me. I really needed that. No wonder Hmm. Sorry, my nose just filled with snot. Don't worry about it. No one really- no one understands me as you do, Arma. I know I can never repay you for any of that. But please, take these flowers as a thank you. Let's talk again soon. You're in my thoughts. Your lover. Not a name! Just your lover. Because if I knew I was helping someone cheat on their husband, 
I would send letters with your lover. The fuck? Who the hell? Why is he sending flowers to my wife? Where is she? I need to talk to her. Well, you hear faint giggling from the backyard. Oh, shit. I know. They're very beautiful. You didn't need to do that. Honest. Come on. Don't say it like that. We definitely need to do that again. Yes. <laughs> She's talking to him. I just know it. She could be talking to anyone. You clench your fists and feel your heart racing. Why is she doing this to me? It's gonna... These voices seriously hurt my throat. <clears throat> him. I remember him. Insert image of him from Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> okay. Let's think about all this. This. All of this. It's, it's just a dream. It has to be a dream. What are dreams anyway? They're just projections of your own subconscious, right? Maybe my subconscious is trying to tell me something. The mirror said something about wanting me to remember. But what? Will you catch her in the act? Hey, don't those people know who they're dreaming? Who know they're dreaming? Don't those people who know they're dreaming get some sort of control over this? Oh yeah, lucid dreaming. I want to try this. Maybe I can make that toaster levitate. Yeah, why not? Try your hardest, but the toaster won't move at all. Well, that was disappointing. Oh! God damn! Uh, do I run now? Oh! Oh no! Oh! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Run! 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 Uh, oh, that's a dead end. Oh, I'm so fucked. What? Ah. Ah. Hey, other me, holy mother of- I'm stuck here, there's no way out. Yes, there is. Is this how it really ends? Hey, Mike. Did you find the answers? Are you remembering? Look, I don't have time for any of your damn riddles. I need help. Help? Excuse me. Yes, I'm stuck in here and there's something- something is very eager to come see me. What? I don't know if that door will hold. Do something! Oh. This wasn't supposed to happen. What? Let me think for a moment. I don't have a moment, you stupid piece of reflecting glass! Help me! Okay, okay, fine. I'm really not supposed to do this, but I can't let you fail. Not now. Not when you're so close. What do you mean? Come on. Huh? Come on, Mike, jump through! What the hell are you talking about? The mirror, you dumbass! Look, you're out of time. Jump through the mirror, it's the only way. Yes! Go through the mirror, here goes nothing. the hell happened? Did I just jump through? This is my bathroom, I thought. Holy shit, what the hell is that? In the mirror. Can't it, can it see me? It's Irma. No, it's behind the mirror. Like, this isn't a mirror, but a window. That thing just wanders in there. It doesn't look like it can see me. Where are the eyes? Jesus, that's seriously all wrong. I need to get out of here. Oh, well. Fuck a doodly. I'm guessing I'm in some kind of ethereal spirit world now, but I also think he might be in a coma. Um, yeah, this game really has me guessing. There are a million things that could be happening right now. But unfortunately, that is all I have time for tonight. This game isn't too long, so hopefully next time I play it, I'll be able to finish it in the next video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed my throat-hurting voices and when I scared. God, when I when I scared, I scurred. <laughs> uh, if you know any of the references from the morgue, write them, because I'm actually kind of curious. Uh, but yeah, feedback as usual. Hit that like button real good if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.